Hello, students. Um, we have a text here. It's a critical reasoning question structure. In this particular question structure, we, um, we will get a kind of a question types, which is uh, on the basis of the assumption based or conclusion based, inference based, or you can talk about flaw based question types. So out of that, uh, or out of those, you would find out one of the question structure is given here. So before we go to the question structure, let's uh, see that um, what's the direction states here. So the direction for the question is what? Read the text and answer the question below. Okay, so let's read the text. What does it try to tell us? So the text begins with, in today's world, there exists a misconception among men that the absence of a no always means yes. And this is a major gray area that, sorry, major gray area that uh, you can say that we are operating on, especially in generation that is still unsure about what consent is. The act has to stop immediately on the consent being retracted or it would be considered as a criminal offense to continue with it. Additionally, it has been seen that people frequently freeze in dangerous situations. Unless the consent is given, every 30 seconds of the sexual activity through an app, it is impossible to figure it, figure if the consent was there the whole time. Past consent to a given act does not imply ongoing or future consent. Therefore, recording sexual consent on an app could prompt someone to give an idea that they can cross the line. If you consent to some sort of sexual activity, you have to be concerned that the person may go beyond what is actually consented. Likewise, Applications can be easily spooked up. Now we have just read the text. Uh, so let's see that, uh, what does it actually try to indicate? So if we go for the explanation of this particular topic or text, so the passage or the text discusses the issue of consent, consent in sexual activities and the challenges surrounding it in today's world. It uh, highlights a misconception, right? Uh, misconception among uh, some men that the absence of a clear no from the other person always means yes, which creates a, a, an important gray area in understanding consent. This misconception is particularly prevalent in generation that may still be unsure about what constitutes consent. The passage emphasizes that it is uh, essential for any sexual activity to stop immediately if consent is retracted. So continuing with an, uh, with an act after consent is withdrawn is considered a criminal offense. And this underscores the importance of respecting the boundaries and choices of the other person and acknowledging that consent is an ongoing process that can be revoke uh, at any time, isn't it? Uh, so furthermore, the passage mentions that people often freeze in dangerous uh, situation, which could potentially impact their ability to communicate their withdrawal of consent clearly. Uh, this, re this reinforces the need for active and continuous communication about consent during sexual activities. To address the difficulties of consent, uh, you could say that the passage all mentions the possibility of using an app to record ongoing consent every 30 seconds during sexual activity. However, it uh, raises concerns about the effectiveness of such an approach as uh, depending solely on an app may not fully capture the nuances of consent and could lead to misunderstanding. It warns against assuming that past consent to a given act implies ongoing or future consent, as this is not the case. The passage also cautions 
that recording sexual content on an app uh, might give the impact, uh, impression that crossing certain boundaries is acceptable, which is not the case. The focus should be on clear communication and uh, mutual respect um, for each other's boundaries. Finally, you also find out that uh, the passage points out that applications can be easily spooked, suggesting that uh, depending solely on technology to handle difficult issues like consent may have limitations and may not fully address the underlying challenges. In in all uh, all total, you could say that the passage addresses the misconception around consent in sexual activities. And uh, the passage also advocates for clear and ongoing communication and raises important consideration about the use of technology to address the complexities of consent. Now, on the basis of this text uh, and uh, the kind of uh, understanding, uh, briefly explanation of this uh, text, so we could uh, draw one of the question here. The question is stated, um, we can say, what is the assumption made in the passage? So now it's a it's an assumption based question. So where it is asked, what is the assumption made in the passage? Okay, let's see that means uh, uh, some of the options are given here. Now, if you look into the options, the first option stated here that uh, men are generally ignorant about the consumption concept of consent, isn't it? So, if we <coughs> excuse me. If we look into this, uh, so what do we uh, draw here? It is stated the men are generally ignorant about uh, the concept of consent. Con concept of consent. Now, what we can say here about this option, that this option which is stated about ignorant about the concept of consent, and um, not be the main assumption of the passage because uh, it focuses on main specifically, right? To whom it uh, focuses, and it focuses mainly on, um, focuses on men specifically, assuming that they are generally, uh, men are generally ignorant about the concept of consent. Well, if you look into the passage, the passage does mention that there exists a misconception among men. It does not imply that this is a widespread generalization, right? So the passage mainly discusses the issue of consent and the potential need for using an app to make sure ongoing consent is sexual activities. So therefore, we consider that option A cannot be the assumption to the passage or text. Now, moving to the second uh, option, the second option stated here that the use of an app is necessary to ensure ongoing consent. The use of an app which is necessary to ensure ongoing consent. Now, if we talk about uh, uh, this uh, particular um, option, the use of app is necessary to ensure ongoing um, consent, um, we could say that um, this could be the assumption made in the passage uh, because the use of an app is uh, necessary to ensure one's ongoing consent. The passage suggests that unless consent is given every 30 seconds through an app, it is impossible to figure out uh, if consent was present throughout the sexual activity. So it also mentions that uh, recording sexual consent on an app could uh, prompt someone to think they can cross the line. And that's what implying using an app for ongoing consent is seen as a solution or necessary step to address the issue of consent. So therefore, uh, the use of an app is necessary to ensure ongoing consent would be considering as the uh, appropriate assumption to the text. So hence, we consider option B will be uh, the true assumption to the text.
Now, before we uh, find, uh, before we consider B as the final answer, let's move to the option C. What does option C tries to tell us? It's stated about criminal offenses, right? Criminal offenses related to consent are common, right? Uh, criminal offenses related to consent are common. Now, if you observe that, uh, this option is also not the main assumption of the passage because it does not explicitly state that criminal offenses related to consent are common. The passage discusses that continuing with an act after consent is retracted would be considered a criminal offenses, right? But it does not imply that such offenses are uh, considering as the common, right? So hence, we consider option C cannot be the means assumption to the text. Now moving to the option D. So what option D stated? People frequently phrase in dangerous situation. Well, uh, this option is also not the main assumption of the passage because it discusses um, a different aspect of human behavior. Because it is stated you know, people frequently freeze in dangerous situation. So uh, while the passage briefly mentions that people frequently freeze in dangerous situation, this is not the main focus of the passage, which primarily addresses the issues surrounding consent. The use of apps to what record consent and the potential consequences of misinterpretation ongoing consent. So on the basis of that, we consider... Um, uh, the use of apps to record consent and the potential consequences of misinterpreting ongoing consent. So therefore, we consider the use of an app is necessary to ensure ongoing consent. But whereas option D, which is stated about behavior uh, during the bad situation or dangerous situation cannot be drawn uh, on the basis of the text. So hence we consider option D is uh, not true. So out of these four options, we could get the idea that option B will be the true and appropriate one. Hence option B is the answer. I hope you understood. Thank you.